I was first contacted by Carol Mayo shortly after leaving the uh, X Factor to get involved in this charity record. Carol is, of course, um, one of the members of Manx Breast Cancer Support Group. And we exchanged emails and had a few conversations. And it was a project which I was really keen to get on board with. They're a huge charity over here. And, yeah, there's anything I could do to help. And they welcomed me with open arms. Um, well, you know we're recording a CD with Simon Lynch, Mark Walton and May Chalice. So today's the day we're recording all the choruses all over the island. And today, first, it's doctors and nurses. There's a lot of support from the nurses at the breast cancer unit. So, um, and the rest of the hospital, to be honest. I'm Dave Armstrong. I'm the producer of the track and really glad to be involved in this. Carol approached me, I, I'd done, done some work before with, with the charity and we'd done some recording in the studio um, and Carol just gave me a call out of the blue and just said come down and have a chat and come up with some ideas and we came up with some crazy ideas and here we are in hospital. <laughs> We were asked this morning if we could come down if we weren't too busy to, to assist. And what made you want to do? Because it's a good cause and everything so we'd like to help. Yeah, we're leaders now rather than followers. Oh, yeah. we with our new breast unit. I think it's unit. brilliant for the women yeah. of the island. We need it. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. we've been hit by breast cancer in our unit, one of our members yeah, of staff, so we're delighted yeah. that there's something moving forward. So. Yeah. Well, we, we got involved last year, really, when we did um, a calendar for the breast unit. So we thought we wanted to do something again this year to help out, raise some money. Um, and we had a chat with Julie and Millie Bello, and we came up with the idea of a CD. And then um, we thought it would be a really good idea to get more people in the hospital involved um, and record it actually in the hospital. Well, anyway, it's looking like a beautiful day. It was very important for us and for this project that we made it as communal and as open and as accessible as possible and so we wanted to give the opportunity to different people from across the Isle of Man to get involved um, So and that also stretched out to musicians as well. We've got a lot of individual backing vocalists, we've got Dave Kogan on violin, we've got Johnny Peacock on drums, Jack Divers on trumpet. And the end product is great and I've heard the fiddle and I've heard the drums and the, and the vocalists as well and they've all come together and as an ensemble piece it sounds Great. Well, now today is the Terminal Republic to join in and hopefully a uh, good sing song and hopefully the crew as well. Hopefully the crew as well will have a little sing and make it even more special. A few more months' time, probably February, March, we'll be able to move into the unit. It's all built now, it's been kitted out. So the equipment, the fittings, it's all we're waiting for. But the main structure has been built now. No. It was a mad, mad day. Um, there were a lot more people than I certainly expected and um, there was a lot of man management going on. Very exciting. I mean, just the fact that everyone's come out and everyone's behind it is incredible. Um, yeah, Carol and her team have done such an amazing job and, and she's just on the ball 24-7, coming up with ideas and... She's, yeah, incredible, and it's, it's a worthwhile call, so, yeah. My son has been looking for what to eat, and, you know, he got up this morning and he just said, Mommy, we have to go out now, we have to go out now, I'm going to be late. So tell me, where are you all from? I'm from And what are you going to be doing today? I've got a couple of friends who, unfortunately, their wives have been through this, so uh, it's very close to us, and anything we can do to help is great. We, we're from Nova Alta, myself and my husband run the company and um, today we are here to record a Christmas CD with Simon Lynch. Oh anyway, it's looking like a beautiful day. Oh anyway. Brilliant for the kids. Yeah. Kids are just so excited. Just excited to be part of something like this. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a great charity and they get to learn a bit about that as well and do something good. So it's nice to do something for the island. It's amazing to be involved and it's just 
such a worthwhile cause, and I'm so pleased that Simon's getting involved too because he's a super singer. And, uh, For me personally, it was nice to, you know, have people come out and support something you're getting involved with and and uh, do actually want to meet you. And, and so it was great. It was a great day. And I think people enjoyed it as well. It's a different thing for especially the kids that, that came down. Um, they don't often get a camera thrust in their face and microphones at them. And so they really enjoyed it. And it was just something a bit different for them. Hey, how you doing? We are Hi, I'm Kerry. I'm the chairperson of Rock Van Inquire. Um, we all support breast cancer care, obviously. Um, who doesn't on the Isle of Man? Um, and we just thought, as it's a track that we do um, um, as part of our repertoire, that it'd be nice if we could come down and join in. Everybody's been touched by it in some way. All of us know somebody or have friends who have either had cancer or have family in the that had cancer. So it's just such a worthy cause, and to have such an amazing unit on the Isle of Man will be just amazing for everybody. Really, really good. So, so pleased and so thrilled that people have, you know, taken the time on a horrible rainy morning to come and help us again. Great. And we've got Rock Van in Choir here to help us. Anybody that'd like to come and join us is more than welcome. It's a great place, isn't it? And really, we're going to have our launch here as well, so it's good to be here. I think it's better than we'd ever hoped. I'd just like to say she has put in so much work into this. She's been, you know, so busy with it. It's been done so quickly. And, and yourself, everybody that's helped us do this, you know, I just can't thank them enough. I really can't. You know, um, it's people doing this for us have got us this far. 1.6 million plus. Well done, team. Well, you know what? I've only just walked through the door, and I walked through the door full of full sea of pink, a choir singing and uh, a load of brilliant activity doing something for a really good cause. When uh, the guys told us what it was all about, we kind of felt that it was we had to get behind it and um, you know we wanted to do our bit to help so just giving a little bit of floor space so uh, the choir could get going was um, you know, the least we could do really. It was very humbling for both myself and the charity and everyone involved to know that so many people cared about this project and this cause and that so many people wanted to get involved. <laughs> It's really important. This is probably the most exciting thing for the children all year. Um, you know, I've been trying to get them excited about exams and the Guild, but they're really excited about Simon Lynch. Uh, he's an inspiration to them all. They've all been watching him on X Factor and voting and things, so yeah, they're really excited. Oh God, oh God, I shouldn't have started this. This is a I'm bad really idea. Yeah. I'm amazingly excited. I'm really excited. Well, anyway, it's looking like a beautiful day. Mark, how's the day gone so far? Uh, the day's been excellent. Uh, it's tiring. Uh, up, very up, up very early this morning. But, yeah, it's been absolutely brilliant. The support, of, since it was sort of like uh, introduced to me about three weeks ago, it's just been non-stop and the support, overwhelming. To start off with the nurses this morning was definitely correct because they were just so up for it. Um, and so early on as well to be so happy after a long shift as well, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But you know, it hasn't finished yet either, so the firemen to come I believe. Selfie with Simon Lynch. Everyone, is everyone ready? Yeah. Three, two, yeah. one, go! Oh yeah, it's been great fun. We've had uh, we've been practicing our lines all day, our two, our four lines, and uh, 
boys have been looking forward to it all day, so it's been great fun, yeah. Nice to meet your boy Simon from X Factor and uh, raise some money hopefully for the charity. It'd be great, yeah. The memory which will stay with me longest after this project has ended will, without a shadow of a doubt, be filming the video and getting the vocals from the different groups of people on Saturday. And um, yeah, everyone was so happy and the day was so... It was a long day and it was a tiring day, but everyone's enthusiasm was infectious. And from 8am till 7pm, everyone had a smile on their face.